Okay, chapter three, lesson four. This is using formulas. So what's a formula? A formula is an equation that shows the relationship between quantities that are expressed as variables. Now, remember, an equation is basically any math sentence that has an equal sign. So a formula has to have an equal sign. Okay, remember, it's showing a relationship between quantities, which are basically just numbers. And those numbers are expressed as variables. And remember, a variable is a letter that represents a number. So one of the most famous formulas, you've probably heard it before, is E equals MC squared. Okay, those letters aren't just like made up things, they actually stand for something. E stands for energy, okay, and that can be measured as a quantity. M stands for mass, which can also be measured. And C is actually the speed of light, which actually does have a measure. Okay, and the squared is C squared, so it's the speed of light squared. So it has an equal sign as well. It's an equation that has variables that express quantities. So let's do this a couple examples with some different formulas. First up, the distance formula. D equals RT. I call it the dirt formula. Okay, I try to think of like driving on dirt, so distance formula. The D stands for distance. The R stands for the rate of travel, or basically, how fast are you going? T stands for time. So, suppose Superman travels 1,293 miles in three hours. How fast was he moving? Well, the distance is 1,293 miles. The time is three hours. The only thing we don't know is the R. So let's plug in what we do know for D and T, distance and time, and see if we can figure out what R is. So 1,293 distance is equal to the rate R times three. To solve for R, we would just divide both sides by three because it's R times three, and the inverse of multiplying is dividing. So when we do 1,293 divided by three, you actually get a nice easy number. It's 431 miles per hour. Moving on. Another cool example would be F equals N over four plus 37. F is actually the temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay, N is the number of times a cricket chirps per minute. So these are actually related. You can figure out the temperature from just the number of times a cricket is chirping. So say one day you're really bored and you count 100 cricket chirps in a minute. What would the temperature be? Well, basically that means we're replacing N, the number of cricket chirps, with 100. When we do 100 divided by 4, okay, we get 25, and 25 plus 37 is 62. So that means F is equal to 62, and the temperature is 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, for our third example, we're going to talk about perimeter, a very important formula. Perimeter is basically the distance around a figure's outside edges. For a rectangle, we're going to be focusing on that formula. It's 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. That's the perimeter. P is the perimeter, L is the length, and W is the width. So let's look at an example. We have a rectangle with a length of 14.5 inches and a width of 8.5 inches. Plugging in those numbers, the length is 14.5, width 8.5. 2 times 14.5 is 29, and 2 times 8.5 is 17. When I add those two together, I get the perimeter of 46 inches. Now, a cool thing about the perimeter formula is it actually does not matter which one you pick as your length or width. Try to switch the numbers around and see if you get the same answer. I bet you will. All right, I'm Mr. Bohork, and this was Using Formulas.